does the laying of the eggs and spins probably the majority of the time inside the box tending to things in general. We saw a little jackhammering going on there to kind of check the structural integrity. Well, here on the outside view, it's kind of a funny uh, situation that uh, the bird can't quite figure out how this is done and finally gets it. And we saw that happen periodically uh, on the outside view. And it kind of made us wonder, have these guys ever done this before? You know, they seem to be figuring their way through and have, you know, truly instinct about uh, what needs to be happening here. But on a few of the technical details, like getting a long stick inside this little bitty door here, they don't seem to have any memory of how you do that uh, and have to kind of figure out uh, how it's done and, and that, that sort of thing here. So uh, perhaps there are one-year-olds and, and have never built a nest before. Uh, you can see there as they begin to accumulate more stuff, I think that a little bit of it may be spider webs or fibers of some type to where they can occasionally kind of catch one basically on one of their feet or on one of their claws, drag the pile around accidentally. Uh, there's a little bit of white fibrous uh, stuff that's probably man-made right on top of the pile. And so we're here on day one. It's getting late in the afternoon and they're about to wrap it up uh, for the end of day one and go off and roost somewhere else. They don't stay in the box uh, while they're doing the nest building. They go somewhere else that we don't know where that would be. Uh, couldn't get any real idea of where they are. They are just sort of mess things up. Well, here we are into day two, and you know we've uh, kind of jumped, uh, say, an hour ahead into the morning of nest building on day two. And you see a, a good deal more accumulation of stuff uh, here in terms of, of old skeletonized leaves. I'm not sure why they prefer those uh, somewhat uh, over fresh leaves, uh, but they seem to. And there comes an old skeletonized leaf in that doesn't want to fit. Uh, so we have to do some maneuvering around to uh, see if we can get this one in the door here. We were thinking that the bird might want to try the bulldozer approach to basically just power it in there, uh, which seemed to be what he was, or he or she, trying, um, but never seemed to make it and finally kind of, I think, abandoned uh, that effort with that particular leaf. Here comes another stick uh, that the bird doesn't realize is too long, and but pretty quickly gets it. You know, in terms of, of turn it on its end and whatnot. So here they're doing a little bit of rearranging. Some of the sticks are out of place, uh, they realize, and need to be put in their proper places uh, to make a proper nest here. And one of the nice things about this particular box was that uh, it has the natural shape of a nest to where they could kind of press things up against the wall and it would take the shape. Well, in just a second here, yeah, here comes a titmouse in uh, that doesn't belong there, knows it doesn't belong there, and is just kind of seeing maybe, well, maybe somebody abandoned this effort and maybe I could, you know, uh, take over in here. Uh, but that does not happen. Uh, so the titmouse leaves, the wrens are back, and, and going into day three here. Well, and as it turns out, day three turns out to be moss day and that they go and gather a substantial amount of uh, fresh, green, soft moss uh, and bring it in and use it as sort of a, a padding uh, here. Also, what you're seeing right there is the bird has decided that long stick just won't do. Don't know who brought it in here. Uh, and it needs to be basically moved all the way out of the way. So another little egg cup test, and here's some moss coming in and it gets kind of worked into everything. The, on the next day, on day four, it's going to become feather day, where they go and gather a bunch of feathers. We think they probably got the feathers from a dead dove. Uh, there are a lot of doves around here, white wings, 
and the hawks will take them, kill them, uh, strip them out, and leave kind of a big uh, pile of feathers where it looks like a, a dove, uh, you know, sort of exploded uh, there on the ground. And here they'll they'll uh, also are packing in more leaves, uh, kind of weaving them in a little bit, poking them in, uh, and and it's finally getting some structure. Uh, to the nest, it was also getting <laughs> some height uh, on the nest walls there to the point that we were becoming concerned that, oh no, we're not going to be able to see anything uh, here. Well, that didn't turn out to be true. Uh, uh, they kind of uh, held the line here, you know, but did bring in some big batches of feathers. This last little bit of the video shows them putting the final touches on and kind of checking it out, make sure we're good to go. And then they go off and leave the nest uh, for several days, basically kind of waiting on those eggs uh, to show up. Uh, we, again, don't know where they were while they were hanging out for those couple of days, but presumably close by uh, so that they could have the nest handy when she gets the urge to lay the first egg. So stay tuned here for the next chapter. Uh, we'll go through egg laying and chicks hatching and finally into fledging.